step, what are you doing? Whoa! What? We're in a time zone. You're having a little trouble uh, getting the thing in there. Are you taping me? Yes, no. Wrap up. It's a wrapping thing. Because 35 year olds will wrap up their bags. How did you sleep last night, by the way? Uh, I slept okay. A couple of times I woke up and screamed, according to Mark. You didn't scream, you said. And what did I say you said? I went, oh, what happened? I don't know. Huh? You cannot beat this deal. Are you, were you going to go and prepare and stuff in there? Are you going to go first? Alright, no, alright, go, go. So, Jeff, it's 46 degrees out. Do you think that's uh, warm enough for me to wear shorts? Probably. For me, that is. Jeff, where are we going? I didn't shower this morning. I'm a little nervous. Hey, right, folks. We're going to the New York Transit Museum. Very spontaneous, right? It's built in an abandoned station. The Court Street station. Is it called Court Street? I believe so. Okay, but it's, uh... It's not sure. Downtown Brooklyn. Right. So... Uh. The two or the three? Uh, yeah, that's the two. So, we're waiting for the train. It's number three. You were wrong. You said it's two. Three. Then we're gonna go in it. We're gonna go to the museum. Very spontaneous. Just spent the night. We said, hey, let's go to the train museum. Why not? City Hall in Brooklyn, but now it's Borough Hall because it's just a borough now. Jeff, we're going back down to the subway? No, see, this is the museum. Oh. See, I'm going to be concentrating a lot on this on the museum. Right. Come on, Jeff, over here is where we start. 1894. So we had tickets. So far, Jeff, what do you think? Standard museum. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want for your $5? Maybe the other side of that. There's that tower there, this is Harold's square. Right. And look, that guy's noticing it too. He's, he noticed the same thing you did. Mm -hmm. I don't know where we're going. Hurry up, the train's leaving. We'd all have thick accents. Fine. Because we're all, we're all still <laughs> close to the, just, we're all immigrants. New trapeze act now. Huh? You can get your uh, paper towels go on there too. Hey, baby. <laughs> See, this is the Cork Street station. See? Cork. Jeff, show us how you use the strap. How do you use it? And you just stand there?
Hi, Jeff. Hello. I'm doing very well, thank you. It's too bad we're stuck here in Court Square. I wonder when the train's gonna move again. I don't know. What are you going to do, Jeff? Guess what? There's plenty of seats in the back. Yeah, anyway, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! 22. Hey guys, the guy's trying to get to the action right there. Can I, does this go? Does this go to 14th Street? Is it go to 14th Street? Where are we going to now? I'm not driving anymore. <laughs> Quit. Buses run on a schedule, but any number of things can disrupt that schedule. Road closures, accidents, breakdowns, inclement weather. Any amount of accommodation of such factors can cause a major service disruption. Our president. My street post. Alright, we'll get you on again on the bus. It's a transfer now, Tanner, for the 12 minutes. Basically, it's a new show. You recording? Now I am. <laughs>